Hey guys, Jessie here, and today I'm going to show you all how I make low poly art in Adobe Illustrator. To start off, open the image you want to work with. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm using a photo of Okoye from Black Panther. Next thing you want to do is lower the opacity of your image to about 50%, just to make the next step a little easier to see. Now, what you want to do is take your pen tool and start drawing triangles making sure each triangle is connected to the other. Every point should connect to the point of another triangle, as I'm doing here. For anyone who doesn't already know what low poly art is, it's a technique of using simple polygons like triangles to convey texture and depth. You've probably already seen it in 3D computer graphics or older video games. Now, when I do low poly, I like to make mine a little bit more detailed, meaning I use more and smaller triangles. If you prefer, you could always make yours less detailed by making your triangles larger. But whether you use larger or smaller triangles, some things you do need to consider are the shapes, colors, and the lighting in your photograph. You'll notice I'm following certain shapes, like the shape of the nose and mouth, when mapping out my triangles. I'm also paying attention to what colors and shadows lie where. If I notice a hard break or sharp contrast in a color, like here, I'll be sure to draw my triangles in a way that ensures these shapes and colors stay defined. It's important to do this because if you didn't and just went all willy-nilly with your shapes, the end result would come out looking just a bit weird, if it looked like anything at all. Mapping these out can take a while, especially if you're going more detailed like I am, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. I might as well use this time to talk about the Patreon page I recently set up. Since I did promise a while back, I'd talk about it in a video. For those who may not know what a Patreon is, it's a simple way for you guys to contribute to my work and get really cool exclusive rewards in return, like early access to videos and getting a behind the scenes look at what I'm working on before anyone else. I decided to create a Patreon as a way to help support my work so that I could devote more time to doing what I love, creating cool things, telling stories, and making content to help out beginning artists. So if you like my work and would like to support what I do, then I encourage you to consider becoming a patron at the link on screen, which I will also include in the description. Okay, enough about that. Let's get back to the video. If you want to skip ahead to the next step of this tutorial, I'll leave a timestamp in the corner.
Alright, now that all the triangles are mapped out, now can be a good time to check over your work and make sure all the points of your triangles are connected so that there are no gaps. I pretty much fixed everything as I went, so I'll just be moving on to the next step of setting the shapes up for coloring. To do this, first make sure all your lines are selected, then go up to Object, then Live Paint, and Make. Next, to make your shapes easier to see, Duplicate your live paint layer and lower the opacity. Now lock this layer. Alright, now click on your original live paint layer and remove the stroke from the path. What you're going to do now is take the eyedropper tool, click inside one of your triangles to select the color, I usually pick right from the center of the shape, and then use your live paint bucket tool to fill in the shape of the same triangle that you pulled the color from. You'll be repeating this process for the rest of your shapes. Depending on how detailed you were when mapping your shapes, you are going to have a lot of shapes to fill in. So, to save your sanity, I recommend using these keyboard shortcuts. I to pick up your eyedropper, then K to pick up your live paint bucket tool. At this point, you're basically in for an hour or three of I click, K click, I click, K click, I click, K click. You get the point. It's a little monotonous. But you know what might be fun? Messing with the other viewers. If you made it this far, comment something below like, I can't believe you spilled paint in her eye. Just to mess with everyone else a little bit. Okay, just like with mapping out your triangles, this can also take quite a while, so I'm going to speed this up. To skip to the nearly finished product and any more advice I have for you, I'll again leave the timestamp in the corner. Alright, I'm just about done here. To finish up, turn off your top layer with the triangle outlines, and also the bottom photo layer you've been working from. You'll notice it looks a little washed out now. 
This is because the colors have been pulled from a photo with a lowered opacity. To fix this, simply make sure everything is selected, then go up and change the opacity to 100%. Much better. You can choose to leave it like this, but I like to go through and make sure I like how everything is laying out. Making sure everything is as defined as it could be and that there aren't any cells that I've missed completely. Now that I'm finished with that, I think I can call this done. For the background, I've just chosen a color out of the original photo that allows everything to stand out, as well as still fits with how Okoye was lit in the original photo. Alright guys, let me know what you think of this final piece down below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and now it's time to feature this piece from artist Madeline from France. If you'd like to see more of her work, then check out her links in the description. Also, if you'd like a chance for your work to be featured in a future video, then submit your work to me via social media. All my links are down below. Thank you all so much for watching. To see more of my work, then check out my videos to the right. Also, if you haven't already and you'd like to be, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye!